Scheduling meetings with other people is difficult. It requires so much exchanged email and changing schedules. What if you could make that easy? What if you could just have your calendar tell the other person when you're available and they could book time on their own? Well, that's exactly what you can do with the Fantastical Openings feature. Let me show you how it works. First, we need to enable opening. So I'm going to go to Fantastical Preferences in the menu bar, or I could just hit Command Comma, and I'm going to go to the Fantastical Preferences and the Openings window. And you can see Openings is not enabled by default. The team at Flexibits spent a tremendous amount of effort making openings in a way that protects your privacy. And one of the first ways they did that was they don't turn it on by default. By its nature, openings is going to need to share your free time with the web service so it can tell people when you're available. If you don't want that, just don't turn it on. I'm a big fan of the opening service, however, so I'm going to go ahead and click it on. Once you do that, Fantastical is going to ask you what calendars it should look at in determining your availability. By default, it's all calendars, but I have a lot of calendars. So I'm going to use this custom set I made called opening calendars, and it's just three calendars. And from there, you can go and start generating meeting templates. There's a button here right in the preferences, but I don't use that button. I actually use it from the application itself. You can go to the view menu and just go down to openings. Or in the menu bar application, you can go down to the gear icon, click that and scroll down and you'll see there's openings there. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, Shift, Command, O. Once you do that, it opens up your templates and there's already a pre-populated template there for you, but I'm going to create a new one. You do that by hitting this plus button. And when I did that, Fantastical opened up the Flexibits website in the Safari browser and it's got the template here for a new meeting. The first thing I'm going to do is give it a name. I'm going to call this the quarterly planning meeting. You can also enter a description. Once you're done with that, you can pick the default calendar. I'm going to put this in my work calendar. And you can see Fantastical creates a custom link for you. It's at fantastical.app slash Max Sparky in my case, but it would be your username and then a custom URL. You can change that if you want. I'm going to change it from meeting to call. Then I'll click the next button and you're going to see it's going to jump to the next area. If I want to go back to details, I can just click on that area and go back, but I want to work on availability. Under availability, you can set the duration. If I want to make it a three hour meeting, I can, but I would never do that to you. So I'm going to make it a one hour meeting. And then you can pick the times that you want to be available. And this is in essence, an additional filter. The first thing we did with openings was tell Fantastical to look at certain calendars. And when you use the openings feature, the first thing Fantastical will do is look at those calendars to see if you have any availability. But then it's also going to compare that against this list of times that you want to be available for scheduled meetings. By default, they've got Monday from nine to five here. I like to do meetings in the afternoon though, so I'm going to set it from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And I'm going to also enable it for Tuesday and Friday. And you can see when I did that, it just copied the same time from above. So since I like three to five, it assumed I wanted that also for Tuesday and Friday. But if I want to add additional time, I can. I'm going to add one for Friday at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So now I've got some blocks of time here that are available. And when I run this openings offer, people are going to see it. They're going to see that I have these hours available. And so long as I don't have appointments in the designated calendars, those times will become available. I can also change the number of days ahead. They can schedule it. Instead of 30, I'm going to use 10. All right, so now I've got availability nailed down. Next, I need to move on to the approval box. So I'll go ahead and click next. And you can see I can have the meetings automatically approved. So when the person I send the link to clicks it and selects a date, the meeting gets automatically added to my calendar, or I can make it manual. And in that case, I'll get a notification and I'll be required to manually approve it before it gets added to my calendar. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this on automatic and then I'm going to save changes. And you can see now I have two templates. I've got the built-in my template and my quarterly planning meeting template. And they're both turned on. Uh, from this window, if I want, I can make further edits to them or I can even copy the link to them. But you can also do that back in the application. So I'll go ahead and close that window. 
And you can see my templates window has already updated for this new quarterly planning meeting. You can see in the templates description, it's got the description of the event, the name of it, the length of it, the days that I'm available for it, and the fact that it can be automatically approved. There's also this link, and if you click on this link, you can fill in and make an appointment through it. Rather than clicking on it, you can also copy the link just by clicking the copy link button, or you can hit the sharing icon button here, and it'll open the sharing menu on the Mac so you could share it via messages or an email. I usually just copy the link and then I write a custom email and paste it there. In this case, however, I'm going to go straight to Safari. So I've got my Safari window open again. I'm going to go up in the address bar and hit Command V to paste that link that I just copied. And you can see there it is, fantastical.app slash MacSparky slash quarterly planning call with dashes. And as soon as I hit return, you can see it opens up and gives that availability to me. And so someone I give this link to can see that in the next week, I'm available on the following times and the following dates. Now you may recall that when I made the template, I made myself available on Friday at three and four o'clock, but it's not showing up here. Now, if I go back to Fantastical, you'll see that at Friday, I have a week review and quarterly planning meeting already scheduled with somebody else. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this four, uh, two o'clock appointment up to 10 a.m. And then I'm going to take this one and just leave it on. So I've got an appointment now at 10 and one at four o'clock. So if I go back to the Safari window and where you see I had availability at 10 and 11 and no availability in the afternoon, we know that I just changed in my calendar an appointment to 10 a.m. And now I uh, have opened up an hour in the afternoon. So if I go ahead and refresh the window, it's going to check my calendar on my Mac and it's going to update it. And now you can see the morning availability is gone and the three o'clock afternoon appointment is still there. So the person that's getting this link will have a way to dynamically see my availability and pick a time. So I'll go ahead and select that. And since I would have shared this with somebody else, I'm gonna put a different person's name in here for the info. All right, so I've updated as if Lynette has just scheduled this appointment with me. And then I'm going to go ahead and write an additional comment. And you can see it's all set here for February 11th, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific. And I'm going to go ahead and request the meeting. And once I do that, Fantastical is going to check in with the FlexiBits website and make this appointment for me. And you can see it's got Lynette here and all of those details are confirmed. So if I go ahead and close that window and I go back to my calendar, you can see it's already there. The quarterly planning meeting with Lynette Barcada is set for 1500 or 3 p.m. I've got another one with Clifford Brown at 1600 or 4 p.m. Not only does Fantastical update itself for me, it also sends me an email. Here is the email that I received from Fantastical telling me that the meeting is booked. As you can see, I just entirely offloaded the meeting creation process to Lynette. Now, something you'll note here is that no point did I say Lynette uses Fantastical or is a FlexiBits account holder. It doesn't matter. Lynette can use any calendar system. She doesn't need to use Fantastical in order to participate with this. And that's one of the many great things about openings. It works with anybody. And that's the way openings is intended to work. Once you determine what calendars it can look at and what times you're going to make available, Fantastical will take care of the rest. It'll help you book your meetings while respecting your privacy. Now, I want to take a minute to talk about privacy and this feature because Fantastical takes privacy very seriously. For example, in this calendar for February 8, I have a few things on my calendar. Now, when I go up to set up openings, it's not going to tell the web that I have a design meeting at 9 o'clock or I'm exercising at 8. Instead, it's just going to tell it about my availability, saying, on certain calendars, he's available for certain periods of time. So it's first thing it's doing is it's not sharing my calendar. In fact, there's a lot of things that Fantastical doesn't share. They take your privacy very seriously. First, openings are disabled by default. There is nothing going on here unless you actively turn it on. Now, second, the server only gets certain information. It gets your availability, the calendar name and the account name, but it doesn't get any account details or specific events. So it just gets exactly what it needs to do its job. 
And then the scheduling is actually done in Fantastical, not in the cloud. So all of the actual work takes place on your device. And finally, your account credentials never leave your device. Your logins for your calendars, whether it be iCloud or Google or whatever, are never going to go into the Fantastical openings system. The team at Fantastical worked really hard on this to find a way to allow you to have a feature like openings without being creepy or putting a lot of your data in the cloud. This feature works exactly the same on the iPad and iPhone, so whether you're working on the Mac, the iPad, or the iPhone, you'll be able to set up openings. Openings provides a highly customizable scheduling experience, and it cuts out all that nonsense required to compare schedules and decide on a date. There are no additional fees. Openings is just one additional feature you get with your FlexiBits premium account. Make your life easier with openings and start scheduling appointments with it today.